hey guys welcome back so for this project you will need cardboard sheets a4 paper favicon scissors favicryl molded clay i have taken four packets of this because i used four cardboards brush and some paints i have taken pearl paints here and a black acrylic color the pearl paints are bronze gold and silver you can just adjust according to your choice now take your sheet a4 sheet and place the cardboard over it check the fit of the paper then apply some glue on the cardboard and paste it to the a4 sheet make sure you apply generous amount of glue and apply it to the paper so that it sticks properly press it firmly and then make cuts on the sides as shown so that we can tuck in the paper on the cardboard on all the sides and just trim it as shown on the video see i have made all the cuts now you have to apply glue on the a4 sheet and tuck it in that's all for the a4 part be generous because this is going to be the base of the wall hanging now i have done the a4 part now I'm going to paint it with black, I have used black as the base color, you can use anything you want, you can use brown also. Paint the whole cardboard piece in black. Now I've painted the whole paper and the cardboard on black. Now it's time for some clay to decorate the cardboard for whole one cardboard you have to use one fabricryl molded clay so if you have nails like me then trim it off because this is gonna be a barrier for your clay project so cut it off apply some talcum powder on the base where you're working I have spread out some parchment paper so that it doesn't stick because this clay is a little bit sticky so if you open the packet of the fabricryl you will get about two packets in it small packets i'll show you so one is the resin and one is the hardener what i've done is take some parts of both the resin and hardener and knead it together i would recommend you to make a small partitions because this gets hard in 90 minutes very fast so be careful take the hardener and the resin and knead them together and you will get a white sort of color whole white and it becomes soft so that's when um, you have to make shapes and make it into whatever you want apply some talcum powder on your hands too and then knead it together See, uh, by using the paper that doesn't stick it's a trick you can use it 
if you don't have parchment paper then don't worry apply more talc powder that's all so now i've made it and i'm partitioning it into three pieces then i'm going to make it in shapes i want this self explanatory because it's very easy while you see it i don't think you want me to explain this just make shapes that you want on the cardboard and so for the clay part just play with your creativity in this part because this is going to be the thing that is going to stand out on the cardboard you can see references in google too now i've taken my cardboard and i'm going to paste it to the board um the glue part is optional but for firmness i have done this you can skip it if you don't want Place the clay on the cardboard as per the shape. I'm making a wheel sort of a shape here. On the place where the clay isn't enough, I'm just placing a thinner kind of a shape. You can do whatever you want with this, but make sure you're fast enough because this clay dries within 90 minutes. Actually, you can feel it becoming hard while you're working, so be fast enough. That's why I'm saying make it in proportions and do your work. So continue making the clay part until your whole cardboard is filled with fun structures. So now I finished the wheel. This took me about twenty to thirty minutes, and I'm gonna fill the others. So I've made four cardboard pieces with many different shapes. You can see this is a reference. So make your own structures, and I'm gonna paint it. So I've painted all of them. So for two boards, I've make make the base bronze, and for two, I have made the base silver. 
and I have painted the clay with two combinations silver and gold and then bronze and gold so you can do whatever you want you can use any other color also it's up to you I have just made mine like this so that we can alternate the both bronze silver bronze silver now to assemble the whole wall hanging you will need about two pieces of cardboard slim pieces which have made them in painted in black this is gonna act as a base for the cardboard pieces place them as shown in the video and place the cardboard also as shown in the video I place the bronze on the upper place and I've uh, placed the silver a little bit down this is up to you you can just do whatever you want in this place make sure the heights are equal don't crisscross them and then lay, uh, paste it to the white part black part of the cardboard pieces so I'll show you how I place these three apply some glue on the place where you have to paste it like so apply generously spread it out place the cardboard over the glue part and press it firmly Make sure the height of the silver part which I have stuck before and this one is equal. The color combination which I have made will stand out beautifully on the white wall. And then to hang it, place a string on the back of the black cardboard. I have made the same on mine and it it is very sturdy enough to hold the cardboard pieces you can do whatever you want in this wall hanging I've just shared the idea which I made thank you for watching guys please do subscribe and like the video if you liked it 